Hi guys, I'm Tessa and welcome to your 30 minutes total body core workout. We'll be working in the full body today, but everything's going to be targeted towards centering, towards strengthening that core. We'll be doing some cardio, we'll be doing some strength um, with weightlifting, so you will need your weights. Um, I'm, I'll be using some free weight dumbbells and you'll need your playlist. I have no music on my workouts, so I have a link below to my Spotify account if you don't know where to start to one of my suggested playlists. Um, so go ahead and get that set. Today we'll be doing three different circuits. Each circuit has four different moves. So we're doing that for 45 seconds each. We'll get a 15 second break in between and we're just gonna like do them two times through and then we'll move on. So it's gonna be, we're gonna pick up the pace today. So it's gonna be great. Um, and I think that's all you need to know. So go ahead and grab your stuff and let's, oh wait, no, 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 no. You need to subscribe. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And at the very end of this, if you liked it, go, go ahead and give me a like and comment. Let me know how you feel. All right, now let's get started. All right, so like I said, we'll start with 45 seconds on, 15 second break. We're gonna start with a double jack. We're gonna jack our arms out into a normal jumpy jack, and then we're gonna squat through a little, little mini, bitty squat jump, reaching down, let's go. Landing nice and softly on your toes. Bringing those arms all the way up. And although we're reaching down, I want to make sure that those abs stay nice and tight and we're not leaning forward into our squat. We're keeping that chest up and sitting back into our hips. deeper every time. All right, we're going to get into a shuffle touch. Shuffle, touching out to the side of your leg. A little hop step in the center. Get ready. Woo. Woo. I'm already tired. Let's go. Same thing as you reach down, keeping that chest up. Getting low and your legs and not leaning forward. Making sure those wrists are underneath your shoulders. Keeping booties out of the air. None of this. None of this. Hips down. Nice deep breaths.
Don't stop moving. Take it down if you have to. Oh, we gotta do that all one more time. One more time, starting with our double jacks. <laughs> Ready? Let's go. Cardio round. Woo! Try to get deeper into that squat. that form. We have grab your weights. I'm grabbing sevens today. We are starting this round with a squat into a press. Keeping that weight up top, we're going to squat and then we're going to twist to rotate, alternating sides, squat, 
and then press, set it up. Let's go. Keeping that weight nice and close to your chest. Twisting through your core. Getting that weight nice and close overhead. High plank, kick through, hands and feet. We are going to be bringing that knee in, kicking through, and then switching sides. If you want to make it harder, bring it up and tap that toe. Let's go. We have our squat, press, adding that twist at the top. Let's go. Bring it this way. Making sure, whoops, wrong way. Keeping that chest up as you squat down. Ones. 
So am I. Let's go. Remember, you can kick it through, working on building that side core, or you can reach for that toe with that balance. Total body core right here. strong. We have our single leg. Remember we did the other side. Let's go around. Maintain that balance. Shoulders down. Set it up. Let's go. Squeeze your shoulder blades together at the top before you kick that weight back. Grab some water. Really one more round. And then we have a surprise bonus round. Look forward to that one. Okay. Starting with the front back lunge curl. Grabbing your free weights. We are going to step forward. Go down into your lunge. Kick it off. Stepping back into your lunge. And then curl at the bottom. Same leg the whole time. Same leg the whole time. Ready? Let's go. Fighting for that balance. When you come center, squeezing that core. Lifting. 
keeping that leg straight so you should feel a little nice pinch in your booty reaching up working everything nice and slow and controlled try your best not to speed through this one almost done don't come down Grabbing your weights. We're doing the other side. Oh, I totally forgot which leg I did. Right leg. Okay, here we go. Forward. Up. Back. Curl. me you're getting a little wobbly slow down focus on your form Make sure you bring those wrists back underneath your shoulders.
last one. Woo, my legs are giving out. Bring those knees up higher. I know you're tired. Squeeze your core. Last chance to get in that cardio. Burn those calories. Woo! Three, two, one, and. Oh, I hate it. Oh, that was terrible. Keep your body moving. Thank you, timer. Since this is a total body core, I want to finish today. with breath in my lungs first, with a little Pilates core sequence that I love to do. All right, go ahead and bring your booty to the ground. Woo, bonus round. All right, we're gonna do a series of five. Starting, if you've never done Pilates before, Always be mindful of the C curve. You want your belly button pulling in, flattening up against the mat, floor, carpet, wherever you are, and pulling in with every exhale. With every exhale, you're gonna pull that belly button even deeper towards your spine. So we're gonna start today with our knees tucked into our chest, head and shoulders lifted. Keeping that chin off of your chest, it's very natural to Compensate in your shoulders, but release everything here. We're gonna kick one leg out. We're gonna have our inside hand at the top of our knee, outside on our ankle, lifting those head and shoulders and keeping it there. We're gonna pull one, two, switch legs, switch arms, pull for two. Switch, switch. Every exhale, pulling your belly button in a little bit deeper. Last one, good, bring it in. Keeping those head and shoulders lifted. If you need to take a break, do so now. We're gonna kick those legs out, arms go overhead. Make sure you only go as far, you only lower your legs as far as though you can keep that back against the floor. Swing those arms around and hug it into your legs. Repeat. Three more. Inhale. Exhale as you draw those legs in. Last one. And relax the neck and shoulders. We're gonna do a scissor kick. So I want you to grab onto the back of your leg, knee, wherever you can reach, keeping that leg straight if you can. Other leg is back here floating. Once we're ready, we're gonna lift those head and shoulders. We're gonna pull in, pull, pull, stretching your hamstring, and then switch. Pull, pull, switch. Two more. Last one. Just kidding, float those arms if you can. Go for 10, nine, eight, seven, chest off your, turn off your chest. And bring it in. I lost 
count, but whoo, that hurt. All right, slide your hands behind your head, elbows out, legs up to the sky, keeping that chin off of your chest. We are going to lower, exhale, pulling that leg in as we lift. If you are having a difficult time keeping your legs straight, as you lower, you feel that lower back pop up. What I want you to do is keep your legs in a this shape, perpendicular. We are going to keep your heels flexed. We're going to lower and lift from there. Ready? Four, ten. Nice and slow. Head and shoulders lifted off of the floor. Two more. And relax. We're going to finish today with a double bicycle. Just a regular double bicycle with an added lift. So normal bicycles you see are boom, 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 trying to speed it out. Today I want us to slow down. Same leg as before. We're going to twist and then lift. It's a little tiny movement just to add a little bit of ah, strength. Here we go. Remember to exhale. Three more. to your bellies. Push up and stretch that out. Sitting back into your heels, reaching forward. All right, guys. That's it. 30 minutes total body core. I'm dead. I hope you are too. Don't forget, comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Tessa. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. See you again next time. Bye.